What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. You know what I don't feel like doing today? I don't feel like going for my morning walk. It's cold. I didn't sleep that great last night. I had a lot of work yesterday and had to stay up till midnight to finish it. And it just doesn't feel like fun. But guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. You see, there are certain non-negotiable things to do in life if you want to heal your skin and keep your skin healed for the rest of your life. My morning walk and my healing routine is not negotiable. It doesn't matter if I want to do it or not. It doesn't matter if I'm in the mood or not. It doesn't matter if I'm feeling inspired or not. I'm going to get up every day and take my goddamn walk. Healing your skin, doing anything in life that's hard takes the right mindset. It's all in your head, it's all in your behaviors, it's all in your own power to make the decision to do the hard things that will take you to the place that you wanna be and have success. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the mindset it takes in order to heal your skin and to keep it healed for the rest of your life. Do me a favor, good people. If you're enjoying this content, remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to hit the notification bell, and leave all your questions and comments down below. Peace. Gracias. Have a good day. Okay, I'm back from my walk, and I'm super glad that I got that out of the way. It was a struggle today, and like healing, like life, some things are a bit of a struggle. Some days the walk is the most fun, amazing thing ever, but no matter what, it's wake up early, do the walk, and do what you're supposed to do. Why? Because it sets up your entire day. Healing your skin is 100% in your mind. It's 100% behavioral, and you do have total control over the food that you eat and the behaviors that will actually lead to the success of healing your skin. You have 100% control. Every time you set forth a plan, be it a diet, be it a workout routine, be it a cleansing routine, and you find an excuse to not do it and to not fulfill the full plan, you are setting yourself up for failure. You're making yourself weak. Now that's not to say that sometimes in life when you're trying to heal your skin or when you're trying to start a new business or when you're trying to do something amazing and great that you're not gonna stumble, you will. You'll stumble a lot, you'll fall on your ass all the time. And it's not about being perfect, it's about trying. It's about being real and realistic with the effort and the consistency that you're putting into things. Mindset issue number one for most people is that they have a short-term goal and they have a short-term desire and they have a do the most minimal thing I can to try to heal. It's the get rich quick type of mentality. Oh, if I could just take a pill and make all my skin disease go away, wouldn't that be so great? So I can continue playing video games all day and eating pizza and not really amounting to anything in life. If you're gonna heal your skin, you gotta understand from the get-go, it's gonna be the hardest thing you've ever done. It's gonna be harder than graduating college. It's gonna be harder than anything. It's gonna take discipline. It's gonna take consistency. It's gonna take sacrificing pleasure in order to have a bigger long-term investment and a return on your investment, return on your energy, return on your consistency. It is a marathon mindset. And that's kind of the, the overall theme is it's a marathon mindset, it's not a short-term thing, and it's a solution-oriented mindset. Let me back up a little bit. What you have to understand is that to heal your skin and to keep it healed for the rest of your life, not only are you gonna have to heal your gut biome, heal the immune inflammatory nervous system response that's jacking up everything in the first place, but then once you've healed, you have to stay consistent with your new lifestyle and your new health practices in order to keep yourself healthy for the rest of your life. Healing your skin is not gonna happen in a month. It's not gonna happen in 30 days. It's a practice that takes the rest of your life forever. You're either fully in and committed or you're just not gonna heal. So if you're focusing on trying to make it happen as fast as possible, you will fail. You will set yourself up to never have healthy skin in your life. But 
If you flip that perspective and you kind of take a break from worrying about how your skin looks and obsessing about the symptoms and, oh my gosh, there's more dermatitis, there's more eczema, and look, it's still flaky. Oh my God, I've been on this diet for three weeks or three months and nothing's happened yet. Get control of your emotions, people. Get tough. Get actually focused on what it is that you need to focus on. The symptoms, all of the little things that are itchy and burning, Trust me, I know it sucks. I'm not saying it doesn't. You gotta deal with that in a certain way. But in order to get out of that hell, the solution, the day-to-day -day practices, putting your behaviors in the right spot every single day, day in and day out, will turn you into someone who can actually heal by focusing on the solutions having your full energy each day put into what what foods am I eating today? What cleanses am I doing this week? How am I gonna get enough movement in today? How am I gonna deal with the stress? If you're focused on those, you have a step-by-step -step plan that you're gonna follow each day, each month, each week, your perspective will start to shift. You'll start to get out of that victim mentality that drains your energy, that attracts more victim energy, that makes the battle almost impossible. And when you start focusing on the actual solution, the behaviors that you need to do each and every single day, you start to become a champion. You start to have the energy that seeks out and doesn't run from the challenge. And once you start meeting the challenge every single day and you're focused on exactly what you have to do, the challenge becomes super easy. The solutions become behavioral. And once this thing becomes behavioral, once the solutions are a part of you, then the whole thing flips. Then you don't need to battle. Then the perspective is, I'm punching the clock, I'm enjoying my health, I'm getting this stuff done, and you stack win after win after win after win, day after day after day after day, and it builds you up. You get an inner strength from it. So the more you accept the fact that it's gonna take a long time and that you gotta be solution-oriented, the faster you're gonna start to build yourself up and be powerful enough to get through this thing. Part of having a solution-oriented mindset is understanding that it's not gonna to be easy it is going to be tough at certain times and for most of you that means you're gonna have to sacrifice some stuff you're gonna have to take a deep look in the mirror and say what am I doing with my day that's draining me and not allowing me to actually do what I need to do to heal for a lot of you guys that's gonna be playing video games all day watching too much TV laying around sleeping in and being overwhelmed by the desire for this thing to go away fast you're in constant research mode. You're always looking for a new diet or a faster solution or a new type of cream or a new type of steroid thing. You, you listen to this person and then that person and your head is spinning and you're never actually doing anything. I'll start healing when I have enough information. No, that doesn't work. You gotta start right now. It's not that hard. I can tell you everything you need to know right now. Eat clean, figure out a customized diet for yourself, heal your gut biome, and address the nervous system response. Boom, research done, get to work. Once you've understood that there's gonna be some sacrifice, to make that sacrifice doable, you have to understand that having sacrifice has a huge benefit and a huge investment and a huge payoff in the end. See, you're here right now and you're, you're loving your life in a certain way. You're loving your misery. You like to eat the crappy foods that taste so good that you're addicted to. You love to drink the coffee. You love to have the ice cream. You love the pleasure of not having to actually sit down and create a meal plan and then cook your own food. Laziness is addictive and it's addictive because it kind of feels kind of good in a crappy kind of way. When you go and you play video games for hour after hour after hour, or you stay in research mode and getting inspired mode hour after hour after hour, you're escaping the work. You're escaping what it actually will take to get the job done. So understand that you're gonna have to sacrifice some pleasures in life and by sacrificing those pleasures, it will build you up into a stronger person. It will change your perspective as you go. And the coolest thing, the investment that you get back is so much more than just having healthy, pretty skin at some point. If you can master your body, master your mind, master your discipline and your daily habits, that will 
fall into every other category of your life, making money, your relationships, how you communicate, how you show up for the people that love you and how you how you interact with people in the world, how good you do at your job, how good you do at life. If you can master your gut health and you can master your skin disease, every other aspect of life becomes super simple and super straightforward. The skills that you learn if you dedicate yourself in the right way, will carry over to every other aspect of your life. One thing that makes a huge difference is getting up early in the morning and spending some time either walking, doing some yoga, doing some activity by yourself that starts to wake your body up and starts to move your blood and starts to get your mind woken up. And during that time, think about the non-negotiable things that you're gonna do with your day. And by non-negotiable things, I mean there is no excuses. Like the only thing that holds you back from doing those things is if you die or if you have to save somebody's life, period. And put those non-negotiable things at the very beginning of your day to do when you have the most energy. If you have to work a nine to five, get up at five o'clock in the morning, you have four hours to do your non-negotiable things. That might be meal prepping, that might be doing some cleanses, that might be getting enough movement in each day. But set forth the most important things and use your energy at the beginning of the day to figure out how and when you're gonna do them and then focus on those things and let all of the other things in your life drain out and be secondary. So having your priorities set each day with your non-negotiables is something that will absolutely change the way you look at healing. Another thing that helped me switch my perspective majorly was the words that were coming out of my mouth. The actual things I was saying out loud to other people, writing in the social media comment boxes, talking to with my support system, how much are you complaining? How much are you whining? How much are you being a victim? The more of that energy you put out into the world, the more you focus on, poor me, I'm so different, this is so hard, you are gonna set yourself up to be a baby for the rest of your life. Everyone in this community, including myself, knows it sucks to have skin disease. It hurts, it's itchy, it makes it hard to do everything. It's absolutely horrible, it's a prison sentence. Okay, accept that fact and move on. The complaining, the whining, the bitching leads to excuses. This is too hard. And then you go and watch Netflix for three hours. I don't like the way that it tastes. Well, yeah, neither did I at first because you're comparing it to the way McDonald's tastes. Give it some time, stick with it. Your palate will change. But I don't wanna do resistance training five or six days a week. Then fine, don't do it. Figure out a way for you to move your body as an individual. Not everyone has to do five or six days of resistance training or go for the morning walk the way I do, but everyone has to move and all you gotta do is stop whining, stop complaining, get focused on the solution and figure out a creative way to start doing what you need to do. The perspective that will actually change everything for most of you guys is simple. Being honest, being honest with yourself. I can't tell you how much it annoys me and how much I hear, Rob, I've tried everything. I've been so great with my diet and blah, 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 blah. And then when I interview people and start to go deeper, okay, you've been you know, really putting effort into things. How long have you been doing the diet for? Like a week and a half, two weeks, oh, uh, almost a month and nothing changed. Then you haven't done anything. Now I'm not saying that it's easy. And I'm not saying that a week and a half or two months or three months isn't good effort because whatever effort you're giving is good. But be honest with yourself. If you've gone a week and a half and then you have a cheat meal, be honest with yourself. Okay, I had a good week and a half and then I fell off the bandwagon, I had a cheat meal. Use your success to push you forward, but you can learn a lot more from why you're failing if you're honest with yourself. Okay, what led me to not being able to sustain my diet? Was it too strict? Was it following the wrong advice? Were the foods not serving my gut biome enough? Was I not eating enough calories? Okay, I figured it out, now refine, move on, get back on the saddle and start moving forward again. As I said, it's not about perfection. It's about being in the practice. There is no special affirmations. There is no special meditation. There is no special online group to have inspiration. You have to find the 
energy, you have to find the gusto, you have to find the toughness within yourself. I know you guys can do it. If, if I can do it, the person that used to be the most undisciplined person in the entire world, if I can get disciplined enough to totally change my life, so can you. And I've worked with so many people that were worse off than me or just like me, who made all the excuses and had all of the rationales in the world and the reasons, oh, well, I work a lot of hours or I just, I have to feed my family or, oh, my parents won't let me do this or whatever their excuses are. Once you get over that, you take full responsibility for your own actions, your own behaviors and your own healing, things will shift for you. And like I said, once you've done it long enough, and it really doesn't take as long as you think, about 60 days, but 90 days for some people, you can create habits really quickly. And once you have win after win after win, you start to stack these wins, you start to gain your confidence, and you start to feel like a natural, strong human again, to do this for the rest of your life is easy. Do not wait, start stacking your wins every day. And what do I mean by stacking your wins? I mean, if you say you're gonna eat healthy for the day, then eat healthy for the day, even if it's hard. By the end of the day, and you've, you've eaten all the good foods and, and stayed on track, guess what? You're gonna feel a huge self of accomplishment. You're gonna feel really good about yourself, and the next day, eating that way will be super easy. You'll gain momentum. Gain momentum, stack wins, and move forward at all times. If you fail, get up. Healing is all in your head. Healing is all in your behaviors. You do have the full capability to do it, but it's all up to you. It's not rocket science. You gotta stop looking for the answers everywhere and go inside and just get to work and take it upon yourself to make it happen. Leave all of your questions and comments down below. Remember to subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching these videos. If you're looking to get a hold of me to become one of my private clients, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. Also, in the description box is a link for Skinessa, the world's finest and most wonderful skin probiotic there has ever been created. Pick yourself up some today. You can find me on Instagram. I'm putting up a lot of information there. Stuart, Rob Stewart, but in real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.